Hey folks, it's Nina with Cool Hip Funky Stuff. I have been an online reseller since 2003, mostly part-time. Um, started out on eBay, have done um, Amazon FBA, mostly during Q4, and most recently been on Poshmark, Mercari, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill if you are an online reseller. Um, welcome, it's been several years since I did a video, but I've been inspired by all the new faces that I'm seeing on YouTube. Um, I feel like a, a lurker, so um, I thought I would jump in and do a haul video for you. Um, pardon my dogs if they bark or any noise. I'm looking out the window at some folks who are working on a leak that we've had in our front yard, so hopefully you can't hear the mini heavy machinery <laughs> that they are using out there. Um, so I live in northern Mississippi and I went to the Hernando Mississippi uh, Goodwill outlet. Um, prices there are very different from what I see with other places. They're $1.95 a pound for clothing and some soft goods like blankets. I've got a couple of those in this haul. Um, purses are $2.50 a piece and uh, shoes are $2.50 a piece. And then knickknacks and things like that. It depends on the size, I guess. So I actually have two receipts because I had forgotten something on my cart. Um, so I went back in to pay for it and it was at the bottom uh, underneath the cart. And um, they were doing a new rotation, so I decided to stay because it looked really good. <laughs> um, this outlet does something really crazy they just like they have big trash bags that they don't even process i guess those are the donations that come to that location and they just throw them in the bin and just people start ripping through them or grabbing the bags and you know then the, i ended up grabbing a bag full of shoes and we'll show you that in the hall so um so we'll start here the first receipt i spent 85 dollars and 51 cents um, 11.62 pounds were apparel, um, which came out to $22.65. And then I had other wares, knickknacks, um, 11 pairs of shoes for $2.50 a piece, which was $27.50. Um, another, uh, there, she split up the, I think she split up the wear, the, the soft goods. Another 7.19 pounds of soft goods for another 14.02, and then the rest were like there were a couple of purses there. I, like I said, 250 a piece, um, and I bought a couple of books for a dollar piece. So that was the first receipt, and we'll get started with what I found. So the first thing was one of those blankets that I mentioned. I know you can see some of the stuff over there. Um, this purple blanket, I'm, it's going to be hard to pull it out, but um, it had this tag on it, and that's what I first saw. Uh, I don't know, it's probably backwards for you guys, but uh, what it says is Campagna Len Preziose, <laughs> I think. Um, Precious Wool, I think. Company, Precious Wool Company. Um, it is crafted in Italy exclusively for Zambeti, USA. It's 75% ultra Australian merino lamb's wool and 25% Mongolian cashmere. And I could tell by the way it felt, it reminded me of these old wool blankets that my parents had when we were growing up, um, only it, this is softer. And it's got a binding all the way around it um, it's in really great condition. I didn't see any holes, but I did see a few moth bites. Um, but I'm, I'm going to have to do some research on this. It's just the idea that it was, it looks like it's vintage. It's been moth proofed and dry, it says to dry clean only. But I um, figured at the very least I will keep it to use myself. So I'm going to put that down here to put clothes on so we don't get dog hair. So next thing I found was another um, cashmere item. This is, I don't know the brand, but it's called Claudia Nicole Cashmere. It's a size large sweater, um, just a cardigan sweater, open front. It's 
um, cream and beige, very pretty, very soft, um, really good condition. It's got one little tiny pick right here that I think I will be able to fix. I've got some little needles that I can fix that with. Okay, that was a good find. Super light as most cashmere is. Um, this is a kid's jacket. I don't do very well with children's. I think it's children's. It might be adult. Size large, S16. So I do think it's, um, you know, it, I think it is kids. Um, it's a DC Comics. I forget the character. This is, you know, the one of the characters in the Batman movies, I think. Um, not the Joker, but one of those guys. And I figured with um, Halloween coming up that this was going to be a good pickup. Next thing I found, Old Miss fans are Old Miss fans. These are um, Nike track pants size. I think they're size extra large. Um, they got the embroidery on the front and then red on the back. Potty toddy, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm, I'm not originally from Mississippi. I grew up in North Carolina, so Mississippi is new to me. <laughs> um, but I thought that was a good pickup. Um, next is this uh, faux leather, vegan leather moto jacket by misguided um it still has sorry about that guys i've got my phone plugged in um it still has the tag on it so it doesn't look like it's even been worn at all um it's a size 12 us which is a great size it's got the zippers on the sleeves it did have a belt but that is missing, but I think that is easy enough to replace if you wear that style. Here is another thing that I was thinking about for um, Halloween with kids. This is from Disney. It's a size 11, 12. I think this is from either Malefic Maleficent. Is that how you say it? Maleficent? Um, Little jacket, it's got the heart on the back, and the zipper pull is also, it, it's an apple, so cute, studded. Um, some little girl's gonna love that. And, you know, if I don't sell it, I, I have not been to a Once Upon a Child, but I might give that a try at some point. Um, okay, next item is some Polo Ralph Lauren, um, men's cargo shorts don't pick up a lot of polo rl but polo um cargo shorts are pretty easy sell i think they've got snap buttons here cargo pockets there's also a little detail with cargo hidden cargo sort of pocket right there with it zips up that i thought was pretty interesting um and it's got the polo logo on the back so I'm thinking maybe 20, 25 for that. Um, sorry, I haven't been giving prices, but I think you guys probably know by now. So these are a pair of Kashyyyk um, lounge pants, pajama pants. They are cropped. They have martinis and fruity drinks on them um, and little lanterns for an outside party. They still have that size strip that goes down the leg on them somewhere. I feel it, there it is, right there. So don't believe these have been worn. They're a size 22, 24. Um, 15, 20 bucks for those. What else have we got here? That came in the second one. I bought also some Chico's um, size three pull on pants. These are the So Slimming by Chico's. Pull-on pants are just, yeah, I, I personally wear them all the time. I hardly ever wear anything with a button or a zipper anymore. They're in really good condition. I checked the crotch. There's not a whole lot of pilling there. Just slight pilling that I'll be able to um, get off with a little shaver. 
our Goodwill stores here are crazy. This was originally marked at $12.99. Um, but like I said, these are a size three and I think they'll do well. I thought I got a couple of, a couple of pairs of those. All right, let me grab a bag that had my other stuff in it. All right, so this is a lightweight, um, jacket from J. Jill. Looks fairly worn. It's a size large. It's pure Jill fit. And the pure Jill, I always pick up the linen when I'm doing that. I, I do pretty well with the Ligon look stuff. Um, I'm an older senior person myself. And I think I tend to attract the, the senior buyers because that's kind of the style that I like. Um, so I think this I could probably get $20 for, 2025. It's in great condition size large as I said um, something that I picked up for personal use these style and company not anything exciting but they are full-on pants that shimmer and shake I'm hoping that I will be able to use these as evening wear for the holidays um, so you can never have too much sparkly stuff in your wardrobe for that type of occasion um, these are men's pants um, and it's a, a maker called Jack Victor. Um, this is actually the second pair of pants that I picked up from Jack Victor. I picked up the first pair last week at um, one of my little honey holes locally. And when I looked up the comps, they were really good. That particular pair um, was wool and this pair is 100% linen. Um, you can probably tell by the wrinkles. Uh, these are, I believe, size 36, 135 regular, 100% linen. Um, the, it even has a model called Michael. So that is the style. They've got cuffs here. Pretty classy, kind of summer, you know, country clubbish, um, beach, dress up kind of pants, maybe even to a wedding that's going to be outside for the summer. Um, I'm thinking somewhere around 35 to price those and take 25. So here's another pair of those Chico's um, pull on pants. Again, great condition, no wear in the crotch, um, size three regular. This I got for my sister. This is totally, it's a Knox Rose, which I do fairly well with, even though it's a Target brand. Um, it's little eyelet lace kind of peasant top this is totally my sister's vibe she likes wearing things a little bit oversized um so i'm gonna send that to her she's actually living overseas right now and has a hard time finding stuff like this there so that will be for her um then let's look at some shoes actually maybe one more blanky so I can't remember who I was watching, um, who was talking about these throws, and this is gonna be impossible for you to see the whole thing, but they were talking about these throws and their goodwill having dropped the prices on the throws recently to $1.99. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. If you're watching, please make a comment down below. Um, but she said that she did pretty well with them. So I picked up my first one last week. It was actually a Disney one, had Mickey Mouse with the castle and lots of fireworks going off. So I thought that that was a great theme. And then this one was in one of the bins and it's actually a farm theme. Um, hopefully you can see that, but it's actually got a, it's a John Deere tractor vintage, you know, with the guy bailing the hay with his kid at the barn. Super cute or, you know, country cottage or um, anybody who's into the, you know, the whole John Deere thing. And it's, it's pretty big too. So I think two people could get under that on a nice fall evening. Okay, what else here? Um, the bag, this is one of the bags that I got. It's actually a Lily Pulitzer for Estee Lauder bag with pretty seashells on it. Um, and I used it to stuff all my stuff in. Stuff all my stuff in. 
and here's some of the stuff that I stuffed in. Let's see here. Personal use um, pull-on rain pants for like working in the garden, hiking, camping, stuff like that. Mississippi weather, we are not far. Where I live is like 30 minutes from the river, from the Mississippi River, and the weather changes like that. So um, it's good to have stuff when you're out and about. And those are really lightweight. So I found this, which is a Kalia, um, which is Carrie Underwood. It's just a pullover, um, kind of quarter zip. I didn't even look on the back, but it looks like it had some writing on the back that has peeled off. And I may try to peel the rest of that off since it kind of looks weird. I'll have to research how to do that if anybody knows. Um, but other than that, it's in great condition. Here's the Kalia logo right on the sleeve. It's got the little thumb hole. Um, good basic top for going to the gym. It's a size small. I found these Adriana Goldschmidt. Um, this is the super skinny ankle legging, the legging ankle. AG, um, you've probably seen these before. They are full length, skinny jeans. They are a size 31. Um, I know that colored denim is not super in, but at the bends, they're, these are, again, skinny jeans, they're pretty light. So probably less than a pound for those. Another brand that I don't pick up all that much, um, from the cloth, although I do have a bunch of new cut from the cloth stuff that I bought um, when a local store, this was back when I lived in North Carolina, local store was closing and I bought a bunch of cut from the cloth shorts and a bunch of free people stuff and it's all in the closet, in, in my closet, um, which is cool, at cool hip funky stuff. Um, this is the cut from the cloth, Donna ankle skinny jean, brown, um, leopard print, always in, skinny, decent size. They were labeled as size large and it says they're size 12. So that's a style that's always gonna be in, I think. Maybe not so much the skinny, but the, um, uh, the animal print will be. Okay, so next thing I found um, it's a little vintage, you know, those little neck pillows that are kind of long. This is actually on one of those and I just took it off the pillow and, and cause I, the, the pillow is stained and kind of gross, but it's so pretty with this lace. I figured that if someone had their own, um, pillow that they could put this on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to price that for, but it reminds me of my mom who is no longer with us. All right, that was in the last haul. All right, for the shoes. Um, I actually found some pretty decent shoes. I found a lot that I couldn't find the match to, but you know, you just can't complain when you're at the bins and you're buying shoes for $2.50 a pair. Cause around here they, like a typical pair of um, Nikes at the Goodwill here is $30 for used, 24 to 30. Um, so these are Naut, N-A-O-T, Naut, however you pronounce that. They're in pretty decent condition. Just a little bit of wear here, but I actually have some, um, the bra brown shoe paint that I might test on that. They're a cute little blue booty, like blue gray booty lace up. Um, they're size 36, which I believe translates to about a six, although they look bigger than a six to me. But um, this is a good brand and I do pretty well with it. I think I actually sold two pairs of Nouts in the past week. They are both sandals. Um, next thing I found was some Lucky Brand boots. Super cute, brown, split leather, also known as suede. Um, barely worn, 
look at brand i'm not sure what size they are these also are size six they were in the same bin maybe the same person those were really cute probably 30 dollars for those and maybe 35 i'll probably price i usually price things like dance goes and now and and like the comfort shoes at 49 and then take 35 um that's my pricing strategy because I there's a consignment store that used to I, I just kind of watched and followed their their pricing. Uh, okay, so this is a pair of um, Eileen Fisher sandals. They are Nubuck suede leather suede. Um, they need a little cleaning up. Nothing a magic eraser, some alcohol, and um, that Jason Mark stuff won't fix. But these are cute. I believe they are a size seven. These are a seven. It took me a while to find the match, but I did eventually find it. Um, these I actually bought for myself. Voltaire, cute little Birkenstock knockoffs, um, except that they have the rubber sole, again, for wetness in my area, these will be a good little sandal and their leopard print so good for me um, I think a belt was included as a I think it was either a one dollar or two fifty dollar item this is a belt made by um, it's got some great detail here it's really thick leather anytime I find these big belts that are thick leather I find that they tend to be for like um, holstering um, firearms and and they're typically pretty expensive. Um, this is a brand called Don Hume, and it's a size 38. This says that it was made in Miami, Oklahoma. Um, and when I did a quick search on eBay, I can't remember what the comps were, but I, I did see a lot of like accessories to go on the belts, and there were a few belts that were, I think they were 35 to $40 range, so um, that was a good pickup. There's a lady who picked it up before me, and. We were kind of grabbing it at the same time, and I, I just kind of let her have it. She was a bit older than I was, so I defer to my elders. Um, and then she ended up putting it back, so I got it anyway. All right, here's another pair of boots. These are vegan leather. Um, I just like the studding detail and the, um, the strap around the ankle. It's signed the Breckles on that um, zipper pull, which runs down the back. And um, I think these are a size eight. Um, I looked up the brand, it was doing okay. I think I can get probably 25 for these boots. They're in really good condition. Here's the mate. I think they've got tons and tons of wear to go on these shoes. So I'm excited about those. And depending on how they run that might actually be something that i could fit into but it's not necessarily my style all right i think that is all the stuff that i bought to resell in that bag um this was the second handbag that i bought it's actually just a target but um there's an aldi close by and i thought that this would be a cute shopping bag and it's got Spanish moss in it for my orchids, which I am for the first time successfully getting to bloom again. So I have two really pretty orchids that are blooming right now. I'm very excited about that. Okay, so that was it. Oh, one more thing. I'm actually wearing it. Um, so there was a bag, one of those bags that I mentioned that people were just grabbing and looking through. I grabbed one and um, it had a little bag of jewelry in it. It had this little Ziploc bag and it had a bunch of jewelry in it that I looked through. I decided to keep a couple of things. This is, this was in there. It's just, um, straps for like a bathing suit top, just in case I find something that needs them. I'll put that in my reuse pile. Like I, I do that with, um, shoelaces. I'll keep shoelaces from shoes that are either a bad buy or something that my husband has worn out, but the, sh but the laces are still pretty good. Um, and then I found this with the, with the, are these called puka shells? I think they're called puka shells. 
Um, I actually have a belt that is missing a couple of these, so I thought I would take this apart to repurpose it. Um, I might check because sometimes this kind of ethnic jewelry sells fairly well, but I've been looking for something like this to fix that belt so that I could sell it. And then I am wearing the third piece that I decided to keep. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, um, it's a little pendant. I'm sure it's cubic zirconium, but on the back it's marked China 925. So it is sterling silver. I don't think that the chain is, it's just got some wear that makes me think that it is not silver, but the little pendant is silver and I might keep that for myself. I usually do keep the silver. Okay, so that was pretty much the $85 except for a couple of things that were for personal use. Um, so the second, wait a minute, there are a couple of pairs of shoes missing that were in that haul. I bet they're in here. So I'll just, I'll just mention those when I get to them. Um, first thing I got was this electric knife. I didn't even check to make sure everything's in it, but it looks like the blade is there and everything. But electric knives, they're starting to price them up a lot. You used to be able to get them for like six or seven dollars, and now they're pricing them at twice that. Um, because they, especially older ones, like this one is definitely an older model. Um, there's always a use for these, like even people who refinish furniture and, you know, cut the foam using these, um, people who are doing cars, um, people who are carving their turkey, all that stuff. So always pick up electric knives if you don't, and they're probably selling them on eBay if you're, if you're on that platform. Okay, so here's the haul from that bag. So they brought that bin in when I went in to pay for the, um, it was a little plastic bin that for storing, I decided to buy it to store some of my jewelry in um, that I had forgotten to pay for. And they brought these, this entire bin full of just bags. And I was feeling the bags. A lot of it looked like it was um, like bedding which I wasn't super interested in, but then I felt the one bag in front of me and it was shoes, I could tell it was shoes. So I grabbed it and just went to a different area and started ripping through it. And I found a bunch of Nike Air Max, including this pair, which are considering that it's probably not a new shoe, it's, they're in really good condition. Um, still lots of tread, just need a little cleanup. These are size 11. Um, I found a red pair as well. Same thing, Nike Air Max, great condition. Uh, these are missing the insoles and they are a size 10 and a half. But insoles are not a big deal. Um, another thing that was in that bin were these Timberlands. I swear, I, I don't know that these were worn more than like a couple of times. Look at the bottoms. They look great. Um, super cool shoes. These are a size 10 and a half. Some interesting detail on the back with like the little Timberland logo on the back there. Um, laces are in great condition. Look how clean these are. I'm not gonna have to do hardly anything except to clean up the outsole. A little bit. Great find for $250. This was one that I took a chance on. It's a brand called Colorado. These are also 10 and a half. They were not in the bag, but they were in the bin. And I had seen them the first time I was in there. I was trying to decide and I decided to look up comps. And when I looked up comps, new ones were selling for over a hundred dollars and used ones like selling, you know, around the $40 range. Um, so these are new book. There's a logo right there, it says Colorado, and um, Colorado Waterproof right there. So they're waterproof, they are non-skid, um, kind of cool like little work shoe. I think that I will be able to clean up that stuff using that um, Jason Mark kind of brush. Um, we'll see, I figured I'd give them a shot because the return was pretty good. Here's a pair of little Merrells. They are just suede little loafers, purple and brown. They are a size six. 
decent condition. Um, 25 to 30 for these. There's a little bit of, you know, just, you know, little things, um, threads and things popping up that I think I can clean up pretty quickly. And this was in the first haul. So there are a couple things in here that were in the first haul. Um, maybe I'll do that first. I have seen, so I actually have sold two pairs of these the past couple months. One just last week that was not suede, but was the um, oil rubbed leather. Uh, these are the Clark's Wallabies. Um, these were in really good condition. Like they're very clean. They are missing the insoles. Um, I might talk to my cobbler and see if he can get original insoles for me. But I've, I've seen um, some people who have been dyeing them in different colors. So I've just been collecting them when I find them at the bins to maybe play around with dyeing them. Um, I might not do that with this pair just because they're in such good condition, but that was the original intent when I bought them. Um, I have two or three other pairs. I just haven't gotten around to that. Um, I did dye, um, tie dye some Vans t-shirts that I found and I sold, I did three of them there. It was just an experiment. I did three of them and all three of them sold within two weeks. One of them sold like in a day. So, um, I'm playing around. I've got more of those t-shirts and just need to find the time to get to that. <laughs> All right. I sold a pair of uh, Toms this week, which gave me the incentive to buy another pair of Toms. Um, these are the Wedge Toms suede. They've got the um, shirling lining. These are really cute and they're in really good condition and they were probably ridiculously priced Actually, they don't have a price, so these might have just been a donation to the location. So I got those. Um, that was in the first haul. This was also in the first haul. And I have two pairs of them. And I believe it says Fry and Company. And I think that that's Fry, Fry, like the Fry boots. These are little Mary Jane loafers, leather. Great condition. Um... I can't tell what size they are. They're size nine. There's a little bit of wear to the um, to the sock lining, but not too bad. Size nine. They do not have the little Fry logo on them anywhere, so I need to do a little bit of research on Fry and Company to see if that is the same. Um, but decent condition. Little of Doc Martens Wonder Mom, and we're ready to go. And bonus second pair of brown ones same frying company these i actually saw a woman pick up and these are nine as well a woman picked these up and then she found me later and gave them to me um i think it was because they're i had a little altercation <laughs> i had a little altercation and um Everybody knew that I was in the right. So there were a couple people who said, I reported that woman. And then this other lady brought me these shoes because she had decided not to keep them. And she wanted to help me out. Not worth rehashing the altercation because I don't like being negative. So, all right, hold on a second because I'm losing you guys. My stand. I've got my phone plugged in because I knew this was going to be a long one. Okay, a few more items. This pair of shoes are for me. They are seven, um, the brand seven with the, like the word seven and then the number seven that you've probably seen a lot of jeans. They're just, um, you know, water boots. I love the ones that have the lining for winter use that are quick to get in and out of. And I thought these were cute and they're my size. So I got them. Last pair of shoes. These are Ivanka Trump. Really pretty. I can't wear this heel. I'm envious of all women who can wear this heel. I would be so scared to try and walk to that. I can't walk in anything much higher than that. So anyway, they are kind of a plum colored velvet suede. Really pretty. Um, great condition. You can tell that they've like barely been worn. Here's the other one. 
I do real okay with the, with Ivanka Trump. Um, it doesn't sell right away, but it does sell for me. Okay, a couple more items. I just thought that this Infinity scarf was really cute. It's not any amazing brand or anything. It's called Greater Good. Shop where it matters. It's just viscous. It's rainbow and paw prints. So I figured someone who was in the dog-loving LGBT community was going to love this scarf. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep this <laughs> or not. Jimi Hendrix. Um, just a long-sleeved graphic tee. Um, there is no information on the inside. I'm guessing this is probably probably an extra large. Um, so it's probably going to be too big for me. I'm going to fit my hubby, but we'll see. A pair of Michael Kors men's kind of lounge pants. Uh, Michael Kors does not sell great for me for women, but I thought I would give it a try in men's and see what happens. And then the last thing I got was this Vineyard Vines quarter zip. It is a size medium. Again, not a great size for men's, but um, I should get 20 bucks for that, I think. Actually, might be a women's. No, I think it's a men's because I wear a men's medium. Women's mediums are starting to get a little small for me. Anyway, it's in good condition. Not bad for a bins pickup. I don't necessarily pick it up so much uh, for full price. Okay, I think that's it. Good haul. Oh, I didn't tell you. The second second um, receipt was for eighteen dollars. So all those Nike shoes, the Timberlands. Um, the boots and the Ivanka Trumps. Um, I did buy Hair, the record, because I found that. And then just a couple of other items that were for personal use. And that's it. I'm going to end here because that's been really long, but I appreciate you sticking around. I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll like. I hope you'll comment. And we'll see you on the apps. Bye.